Greetings and welcome to Little Big Workshop. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm really excited to play this game for you because it's a big game. So we're going to start off because it has a really long intro. Just start off making a brand new game. Now, I was going to call it Skyworks um, like this, but <laughs> I've already called my other factory Skyworks. Uh, so we're going to be all vogue here and just say sky works. Oh, oh, oh whoops. Z. Okay. Start. Anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, this game is, is a big game. I've been playing it for hours and hours and hours, um, to practice it so I could play it for you. And, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So basically we are a factory owner and we're going to build this little big factory uh, piece by piece, tile by tile, um, and try to make products to satisfy the market. There are so many things to think about and take into account here. So anyway, let's go ahead and skip the tutorial because I already, I already know how to do this part. Um, Anyway, yeah, let's start off by, okay, thank you very much. That's very nice. Anyway, what we're going to start off doing is we have this floor plan and this is so adorable. This we're like on a, a table, there's calculators and glue and stuff. And look at this calculator, mostly correct calculator <laughs> and drawings and graph paper and things. And there's a phone. They're going to call us at some point. We can't pause the game. So we're just going to have to get going. But one of the things we need to do is look at these milestones because that's going to help our factory grow and therefore unlock new research options. Um, so first of all, we are given one uh, skill point here, which we can use for various things. Unlock billboards is great. Zones are great. You know what? I think, oh man, I think we'll do probably, oh man, which one do we want? Probably billboards. Let's have billboards. So you got to double click these to get those skills. Anyway, um, we're going to start off by looking at the products that are on the market here. Uh, and then first of all, we do have a challenge item, a carved wood gnome. They want three units. They're going to pay us 3000 for this. This seems like a really good deal, but before we accept, let's create a plan and figure out how we're going to do this. So we need to have wood delivered wood chunks, and then we have to carve this, uh, detail simple. Um, that's kind of like a, what do you call it? Oh my God. Oh no, I forgot the name of that tool. Anyway, it's fine. We'll get to it. Uh, but we can't actually link a workstation because we don't have any workstations. So let's go and build some. So what we're going to do is we just got the billboard, which is amazing. Um, and when you first start out, you don't have access to anything specialty except for a couple. This one does painting at hundred percent. This one is, uh, metal melting, uh, sewing station, injection press, but then we have the other stations of metalworking and woodworking, which all do these various options at 25% efficiency. And then the assembly station also, which is incredibly important to us. But what we're going to do is we are going to make these gnomes and I'm going to make two of these stations, I think. So initially these are, we have these tiny, tiny, itty bitty rooms, um, but it'll be fine. We'll get there. It'll be okay. So let's see, can I fit one here? And I want another one. I forgot to press. Oh, no, we can't fit it there because of door. So let's move this one around, maybe like this and chuck it over there. Sure. And then we'll go back to our basic thing. I, if you press shift, uh, you can um, put multiple down at a time, which is really handy. Um, so we're going to get these two woodworking stations for now. Um, but we also want to get a billboard. That's going to be a nice little thing. Let's go and rotate this. So it fits there. Cause I want to put a little bit of a zone there. Boom and order. So the delivery section is auto. That's basically the truck bay that these stuff, the stuff is going to come into. Now, while we're waiting for that truck, let's go ahead and put down a zone here. And we'll just say, okay, initially it, we are only allowed one type of zone and this is a general storage zone. So, um, the other thing I think for this one product, we don't actually need an assembly station. So we're just going to stay with this, um, this simple carving thing. And we're going to, what we're going to do is link it to a billboard 
Billboards are so, so incredibly important. Let's let um, these guys put down stuff down. I'm gonna fast forward the game a bit. Speed three, one, two, three. Really nice with the options in this game. Let me show you those options. So we have gameplay stuff, things. We have, uh, let's see, here's the gameplay. Serious business mode. Now this is an interesting thing. There's some random things that are kind of annoying. Like, oh, there's a mold infestation. Oh, there are brain slugs. And I find them very silly mini games. However, they give you a lot of XP toward improving your factory. So we're not gonna turn that on right now, even though I don't like it, but it's okay. Uh, audio levels, we have controls. Um, you can change these controls, which is so tasty. Um, anyway, I love, I love when you can customize stuff. Anyway, I found the controls to be really useful as they are. So, okay, so we have stuff, we have the things. Uh, let's go into planning mode again. We're gonna get this wooden gnome. Let's make sure that this is still here. I think we have it, market board here. Yes, challenges thingy, create plan, still here. All right, so when we have this little um, hat on top of the circle, that means we need to choose stuff. It's also blinking at us. And here we have link workstations. You gotta do this in this checkbox before you're allowed to do anything else. So you right click on it and you click the link button. Oh, well, we, did, we have to link something else first. Let's get our workstation, not workstation, billboard. So this is our billboard. And what we want to do is link the billboard. Now, what this does is instead of linking to a single workstation from the planning thing, this allows us to link to both workstations. And I'm going to press shift and click both of them. So when we want to link a process, uh, we're going to link it to the billboard instead of an individual thing. And let's go back to that plan real quick. Link it. And you see, you can link it to either one or the billboard, which is going to automatically um, link it to both. It's going to divide up the work for us. so We don't have to worry. Okay, so when you do a contract for one of the special other companies, uh, for one of your clients, the amount will be already filled in, three. That's how many we are going to make. When you're making products for the open market, you can fill in this amount to whatever you're going to use. Anyway, so we have our estimates of stuff. Um, the operation time is two hours, three minutes. Work time, we don't get an estimate. Uh, material is going to cost us 18. Um, is that per each? Let's see. No, I can't change it. No. Um, Usually you can do this up. I don't know. I think that's I think that's for all of them. It's going to cost 18. So payment is 3150. So our profit is extremely high for this work. Um, and then we have details, simple, basically three operations, and that's it. Um, okay, execute. Go go go. All right. I'm gonna. I like my factory in a particular kind of. Um, you know what? I might turn this thing. Let's right click on this and we're gonna move this billboard. Let's see, I really wanna turn it around. Rotate, there we go. And so we'll get that going. So it's so it's easier for us to select. Nobody actually has to go up to this billboard and work with it. Uh, so I don't feel like we need to worry about that too much. There it goes. So anyway, somebody's already working on this gnome. We can see them doing the stuff and the things. They're they're bashing it with a hammer and sort of hitting it with a file. And <clears throat> that's not really how word working works, but it's fine. So let's look at our employees here. It looks like, yeah, we have two workers, Margaret Davis, um, who is an operator. And we have Damian Martin, who is also an operator. I'm really confused why um, this worker is not actually doing things. Is this thing? Waiting for task. That's weird. That's really weird. I wonder if it has to do with because we removed that thing and turned it around. Okay. Oh, and we have problems. One of our operators fell over. Uh, we'll have to build him a break room, I guess. Anyway, we have this carved wooden gnome. We're going to go ahead and deliver this. We just click the button and the truck comes and picks up the gnomes. Now, while that's happening, we need to build a break room. This is pretty important. And I think what I want to do is change the doorway on this. So, oh, we're not allowed to, uh, we probably need to upgrade our factory so that we can actually, um, yeah, 
uh, do some changes here. So we have the truck coming in and we have people actually picking stuff up and loading them into the truck. Now, all of these things are kind of important where you put your zones and all that kind of stuff. One of the next things we're going to do is unlock the zone storage management so that we can specify which zones are doing what. Uh, let's get this break room set up. We need to get our breakpoint capacity up with the first two items. That is also the way that we um, designate the room as a break room. So that's kind of important. Uh, otherwise, and you'll see the floor change. We'll get both of these items here. Woohoo. Oh my gosh, we already got a wood trophy. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that transferred between saves. Oh, that's tasty. All right, that sounds fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to put both of these in and they, um, these create breakpoint opportunities. Let's order these, make sure they get here. Um, and you can see they have four slots this on this one and three on the bottom one. And each item, it's kind of funny in this game, each item has workstation stats, but if you put multiple in a room, the stats go down for each consecutive one. So you can't just spam the best decoration or the best whatever in a room. That's kind of important to note. Let's put this break table in. So basically the game really wants you to vary the decorations and all that kind of stuff. Let's put a video game maybe in the corner here. Sure. Um, but yeah, anyway, people like to uh, recover with various items. So we're just going to put in a few different things for them to enjoy themselves with. We're going to get more workers soon. Okay, let's order all these things. And as soon as these things are unpacked, by the um, the workers, then we're going to see the change in the floor tile. So this is now designated a break room and we cannot put any factory machines in the break room. That's really important to note. So you can't just like, hey, yeah, um, you can change the configuration. You can just move stuff around or you can delete floor tiles and, you know, put them in a factory later. But for now, this is our break room and we can't put machines in there. That may seem silly, but the point is that sometimes it's like, can't I just shove an injection press over here and they can just listen to the noise? It'll be fine. No, you cannot. That is not a thing. Okay. Let's look and see if we have any other challenges. No more challenges. As you see, we did get quite a lot of XP for that one, which is great. And as we level up, you see at the bottom current level progress plus one gear symbol, and that gear symbol is going to help us on the tech tree. So let's look at the basic products that are available. Medium and advanced are locked. As you see, we have some smiley faces on ones that may have good prices. Now, each of these items has a, a coin and a truck. Now the coin indicates the price and where the price is kind of going. You can see the past market history. And then the truck is how many you can deliver within the amount of time that's there. So let's see if we can find something reasonable. 160, 141. These are 140. This seems like a really good thing. I think we can even make these. Um, now the attributes here, we need um, wood. This is wood and metal. And we have small project size and mass production. Sure. Let's look at this. How difficult is this thing? All right, so we need to do one wood cutting operation. What's here in here? Okay, we need to order certain brackets and things or assemble them. And let's see, these are our materials that we can choose here. Now the reds indicate that we're not gonna meet our goal if we choose this. So if we choose that, uh, then we have a target in the red there. So can we, can we unchoose that? Oops, no, no. Okay, we need to actually change this to be something else, which we did not actually get that. We need to redo this thing, get the required workstation. We don't have that. And yeah, we are not going to hit our targets. We need to do a brand new plan. Let's just do create an empty plan and try this again. Okay. So here we need to make either this one or this one. We usually go with the lower cost one. This is the cost there. This is one and this is two. So let's go with one. Um, and yeah, we still have this in the yellow. It's like, okay, we can still get this. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I know that. I know it. Okay. Um, there we are. Click this bend metal, and then we can choose our materials. So this one seems to be okay for here. Um, 
we're going to go with the cheaper one, 18, because why spend more than we have to? And then again, 18 there. And we are over the target um, items. But the thing is, look at this stuff. We're only going to make 64 per shelf, which is not a lot. But if we make 25 of them, let's look at this. There we go. We would make $2,014. Um, taking into account the material and the salaries and stuff. I'm thinking it might be worth it, but we also need metalworking stations here and we need assemblers. Now the question is, can we get all of this to work? Um, we have 11,000 monies. So let's go in here and I do like to have a couple of assembly machines. So let's go and get some of those. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Where are they? Woodworking, there's our metalworking stations. Injection, oh, here it is, first one. Assembly stations are so good. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> they're kind of necessary is what they are. <laughs> Oops, I didn't uh, I didn't click shift again. It's like, no. Um, anyway, we can put this here. Sure, okay. We'll get these here and then we'll have, let's add our billboard to enable us to do the linking. There we go. Yay. And then we need a couple of metalworking stations. So I'm thinking, let's see, put those maybe basic metalworking stations. It's always good to have more than one of these things. So let's put shift and then the next one over here. Sure. And then I want to have a billboard for those. Oh, but the money is getting way too much. Okay. Gee, that's not great. Is it? No. I think what we'll do is we'll take off this one. Uh, we're at 7,000 and maybe this is not actually a good thing to make. because so we have two metal processes and two assembly processes. Maybe we should just look at a different uh, product instead. So maybe something with less metal working. Now we could make a rubber duck, which is fine. Let's see, plan product of the rubber duck. Now this one only needs, I think it only needs a, um, yeah, we need a painting station and we need the uh, sort of melting station for this. But look at the profit on this is crazy good. So let's get out of this and take off the metalworking stations. Now later, this is really not going to be that big of a, a deal because you'll you'll want to get specialty stations and all this. OK, we do need this, but not right now. Go away, go away. So we need our, let's see, a painting station, which we'll put, maybe we'll put that here. In the beginning, it's really hard because you have limited um, space. Oops, painting and the, what do you call that stuff? This one, this one, yay. So we're gonna do maybe two of these actually, because they're quite, let's see there. Nope, are they expensive? How much are they? Two injection thingies, 6,000, eh, let's just do one. All right, let's do one for now. And we're gonna order these. And notice we're not gonna get any billboards because we just don't need them. Um, and what I wanna do is put down another zone for storing stuff. There we go. There we are. Okay, so this is happening. We're getting this stuff and the things. There we are, yay. Let's go ahead and make some rubber ducks because these rubber ducks are pretty good with the pricing. So let's plan this again. Make sure that we link our workstations. Go here for this one. Right click this one and go there for that one. OK, not bad. Look at the profit on this thing. It's pretty darn good. Um, should we make what color? I guess it doesn't really matter what color of duck we can make. <laughs> we can make blue ducks, but it doesn't really show blue. Anyway, it'll be fine. They're painted anyway. Who cares? Um, anyway, rubber duck plan one. There we go. Let's make this. And the thing here, deliverable 28 of 28. Now that number might go down as the market prices change, but that's okay. We're going to make 28 anyway. Import to auto, that's our truck station. And let's see, with this order, we're gonna make 4,000 money. So let's get that executed. And first thing we'll see is that the truck is gonna come and deliver the materials. And it's going to be great, yay. There we go. Truck is here getting the plastic. Um, and then 
I guess we're doing some maintenance or something here. Now, one of the things that is kind of important, like red essential, is the decorations. And we haven't talked about that yet. But what's happening in these rooms is that if you look at the top of the screen here, you see that we have noise of minus 26 making the room very unhappy. Minus 26 mood in this room. Now we can counteract that though with decorations. And um, we have, uh, these are indoor decorations we have access to right now. We have the carny plant, palm tree, cactus, potted plant. Now we have minus 26. So probably a carny plant would be appropriate. Let's just put this maybe here. Sure. Yeah. Let's have Seymour eat, not Seymour, the, uh, the plant eat everybody. Seymour is the guy that was eaten. Uh, anyway, it's fine. <laughs> ish, ish. Now the thing about this, so we have mood four with these ordered, if we order them. Let's put our cactus here. There we go. And that will give us a mood of four. There we go. And maybe one of these guys, mood of nine. It's not ideal, but this one also takes up a lot of space too. Okay, say order. There we go. And these will get unlocked. And as our people work, they're going to get tired uh, at, at a lower rate when their mood is higher, I believe. And when you get uh, people called specialists, basically leveling up your employees, they will then um, be more sensitive to the mood in the room. Now then, another thing we need to look at, and the reason I'm leaving spaces is we have this thing called obstruction lens. So everywhere that is red, uh, the people walk slower around those areas. You can see them like gingerly stepping over stuff. So we're going to try to move uh, these things. Let's see if we move or change the size of this zone by one square, it's going to make this a little bit better to, to go around. They need to move some of these ducks. But you can see in this room, the blue or the, the regular concrete floor is fine for them to move in. Um, but anything uh, yellow is going to be tougher. Okay, so we're going to say, okay, they're going to move these other products. They're like KOS. Why are you bothering stuff? We're trying to make ducks here. It's a thing. Anyway, um, as we're looking at stuff, so that, that's why I'm like moving certain things in certain places. I guess we could probably move these things to be better placed over here. So at least the beginning of the doorway is less obstructed. Move that there. Yay. Good. Anyway, these rooms are tiny. It's, it's not really that bad in the beginning of the game. So there we go with that. Turn off the lens and um, they're making ducks. So the important thing to remember with these ducks here is that this is the timer on the market. So when we look at the market, this price, is going to change as soon as this timer gets to the 12 o'clock position and the entire circle is filled up. It kind of like fills up in a clockwise direction. So the price may go up or down. Um, and later, one of the most important skill points I think to spend is in getting the market predictions, which is, is that this one? It might be this one. Yeah. Oh no, not that one. It is, yeah, right there preview two market cycles ahead of time. So what it does is it creates a little dotted line to say, aha, this is where the price is going because we're now psych psychic and we can estimate this stuff. So what we're going to do is because this price is pretty high on the market, we're going to sell all of our made ducks. Even if we haven't made all of them for the market, we're going to sell them at that pretty high price. We're already 45% done with making these ducks. So that's a good, uh, good sign. So we're going to keep on going with this. All right. We've got to go keep on making, get that plastic into the machine and mold them into ducks. And then we paint them. Okay. So uh, market, how many hours do we have left? Oh, we can actually check it over here. So the market resets at 24. That's, uh, you know, the hours in, um, sort of 24 hour time clocks. I'm just going to kind of run it a little bit little bit slow on the uh on the thingy so 23 let's go at 23 30 sell these so we can sell them at a particular price there we go because we're not going to finish anywhere we, we did 18 of 28 so let's just click deliver and we're going to get 3,000 money for that and then the rest of them can be uh sold at the next market cycle so let's just okay next market cycle actually the price went up 
the price did go up and now they're demanding 26 units from us. So we're going to probably be able to sell them uh, 16 units or something. We'll check at the uh, at the end. I want to make all of these first and then we'll figure out if we want to make more ducks or not. This is actually a pretty decent price. Um, the important thing with the ducks is to look at the price versus the cost. It doesn't matter how high this is. If you're just making a hundred ducks and having very low margins, then, uh, you know, obviously not, you're not doing well. Challenges also refresh at this time. So what we can do is they're finishing these ducks, but we might be able to plan something else. So let's look at our sandbox kit. Now this one has an assembly machine required and it also has two injection things. We need 14 of these and these have a time limit here of, let's see, let's look at that time limit um, in two days and six hours. So that's going to be kind of hard to, we might actually just end up doing some more ducks because they are fairly profitable for us. Let's see how much were they offering for those? 2,261. I think it's not really that worth it. I think I want to make more ducks. I think we're going to make ducks. So let's go and uh, get the market back to ducks. Yay. And keep on making the ducks. We will, let's see. They want 26 units and I think we can deliver 10. So let's make 16 more units of these ducks. Yep. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. So they tell you like, uh, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I want to make 16. Let's go. Let's open the market and deliver these 10 ducks, which is great. So we still have most of the market cycle to make the rest of these ducks, which is great. And we're going to make a lot of money and that's going to enable us to buy more machines and stuff. So that's really, really good. We need to keep on focusing on the market and uh, and getting people... Uh, the stuff we need from them. Now, as we're doing stuff, we can also go ahead and add things like an assembly station here um, for future. So let's put that in here and get that delivered because we're going to need assembly stations eventually. Ah, yes. The other thing too is we can hire more people to work and that might be a really good idea, especially maybe even getting another one of these presses these injection presses. Whoopsies. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Go back. Go back. There we are. We might think about hiring another person because we're actually doing really well right now. Now at the bottom here, it will tell us how many workstations are idle and how many people are idle. And that's an important thing to look at as well. Now, as we have these ducks being completed and what's happening now is it looks like we have molded all of the ducks and now we only have to paint them. So right now we have one person being idle because they can't even work at a workstation because all the, the processes are over here. So what we can do is take on another contract that allows us to use the other machines in our, um, in our factory. This is especially true with things like woodworking. We have no woodworking going on yet. We have two woodworking stations standing idle when we could have woodworking products being uh, made right now. So, but I think I would like to get that challenge done. This is really tempting because of the XP we're going to get down here. But we could also look at these uh, woodworking things. We're going to have a chair. Prices are really low on chairs. Horrible pricing on chairs. Rakes are fine. No, we're not seeing anything that's looking really good here at all. Bongos? Bongos are pretty decent, actually. Bongos are really good, actually. 225. Let's look at these. So these are going to require what else? These guys, gluing, wood. Okay, we have to go up in wood. It's going to reduce our profit a bit. But this is, we have um, two workstations that can do all of this stuff. So this might be a really good product, actually. So let's go ahead and to choose billboard for this. Now, when you have multiple operations that are exactly the same, like gluing, you press shift and click them and then right click on one of them and then link it. And it will link both of them or all of them, all of the ones you click shift on. Um, okay, so, but look at this. After we look at salaries and material, we're only going to make a profit of 28. That's not a lot. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that doesn't, you know, include delays where, you know, maybe the salaries are going to be higher because things. So what we really need to do probably is get better gluing stations. So this ends up not being a good product for us to make. So we'll just have to suffer onward. Let's deliver these ducks. Um, let's actually look at, again, the, uh, this thing, create a plan for this. We probably would like to have two injection thingies. Let's go and look at that real quick. We can, I think we can afford it right now. Yeah. Let's go and get this. Let's go ahead and buy this machine before we start. And we'll also get the billboard before we start. There we go. Let's have those going open market, sell the ducks. Boom. All right, that's good. But you always want to be thinking about what products you can make in parallel and what workstations are being used because you don't want to have stuff that is lying idle. It's quite important. Okay, so shift click these guys to link to the billboard. Now notice that the billboard, once you click one machine, you can't click a different type of machine. Um, this is also important when you get machines that do um, other things like there's an advanced woodworking machine called the, um, there's a circular saw, or I think it's called a circle saw in the game. And then there's an advanced version. And for some reason you cannot use a billboard to link to both types, even though they only do one operation each. So it's definitely very specific to machine type. All right, let's look at, um, man, I'm really tempted to do more of these ducks. Oh, but they're not going to accept any more ducks. That's a problem. So let's go to the challenge, get these buckets done, create a plan for these. And I'm going to go ahead and relink these, copy these things, link them. Hello. There we go. Link it to the billboard instead. Whoops. Is that one also linked to the billboard? Yeah. Wait a second. Oh yeah, it has both. Okay. And then let's just choose our pellets. It doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, we can do two different colors. That's fine. And then assembly is going to be at this station. I don't want to buy any more assembly stations at the moment. Um, so we'll just do this. Let's see our, yep. Profit is going to be 1633, which is not a lot, but it's something. So let's go ahead and execute this and get this started at the very least. Um, and we might actually be able to get another employee. Um, I really would like to have a secondary product though, to make something maybe with the woodworking. Let's see. These are so complicated. The, the drawers are very, very complicated items. We have toy food, which can also be pretty decent. Uh, but these require much painting and much, uh, in terms of the plastic production. Let's see what else. Yep. Sandbox kit. The ones we're making right now are actually not doing that well. But I like to, I would love to have like more things going on in the background for us. What about grass agitator? <laughs> Pitchfork. Let's see, plan these. Let's see, we have assembly. We have, let's just choose this thing. We need a metal working station for this. The profit is pretty decent actually on these. So that's not too bad. Okay. So... Eh, it's okay. I guess it's okay if we make a few of them, but we do need a metal working station. See how much that costs us. Let's see, basic. So now this is like, Hey, can't I just shove one in here? No, you cannot. No, no. Um, wait, do we need a small forge or do we need, cause the small forge is different than the regular metal working station. I think it's a forge. Let's just check this project. Yeah, it's a forge. We need a small forge instead. Um, I guess we can make a small forge. Costs us 2,600. Okay. Yep. If you're running low on funds, you should, you can sell off products in stock. Ah, yes. And you can, okay. So it's, it's like, no, you should probably not do this. Probably not. Would like to get some more of those ducks made. But yeah, there we go. We're doing the stuff and the things and they're getting stuff done. Yay. Yeah, I know obstacles cause people to work slower, <laughs> walk slower. <laughs> and this, the numbers here, estimating your current profit per hour. And that's basically taking into account the workers and stuff like that. Now we don't have the ability. I would love to have a door here so they can go directly into the break room. 
but we don't have that skill point just yet. Oh, but we do have a skill point. Let's look at this. Oh, yes. All right, eco-friendly materials gives us different options with um, with regards to materials, which can be very useful. Construction tools, um, building new walls, doors, and factory sections. That's really handy as well. I think that's actually handier probably than the zones right now. But <laughs> having said that, the zones are actually really useful. Wood production... Number one gives us so many tools. It's actually a really, really good. I'm thinking we'll save up our skill points for now. All right, here we go. Doing this stuff, assembling things as well. So yeah, right now, oh man, I would love those zones So, Because with zones, that un allows us to have um, input zones, export zones, and then the general storage zones as well. And with those, we can actually make use of haulers, uh, which are people who don't do any of the operations, but they shove stuff around. They, they haul things from here to there. I really hope we make this deadline here. One day left. Come on, folks. Recharge good. Yeah, the recharging break room is so important. You really don't want people to fall down on the floor uh, with exhaustion. Because that just... I mean, they take forever to recover, so. Okay, looks like we're doing really well on these sandbox kits. Good, good, good. Okay, keep on going, folks. Let's go, let's go. Do the things and the stuff. Man, we need the construction tools and the new woodworking tools. Darn it. Okay, now we're blocked by, we only have one workstation. So that's not ideal. They have to keep like one and one and one. Oh, the inefficiency here is horrible. Oh, but we can do something. We can put a decoration in here because I forgot completely that we don't have um, decorations here. So let's put down a, maybe a carne plant. No, that's too big, I think. I think we only had, yeah, these are four wide. So let's put down this and then Maybe a cactus as well. Yeah, that, that'll be a better mood for them. Okay, good. We'll order that and get going and life will be better for people working here and they'll go faster and life will be better. One last one, seven hours left. Get this done, please. Go, 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 go. Boom, deliver. Okay, so we got, are getting the stuff and they're gonna be, hey, how you doing? What are these things looking like? Looking pretty okay, mm-hmm. Yes, yes. And so everybody's going to help load this stuff. Looks like we got new things on the market. Ducks are still at a decent price. Feeling like that's actually a good option for us. We could also make large shelves next. Um, that might be interesting. How many do they want? 15 units. This is woodworking and what is this? Assembly, two assembly items. Oh my god, and then we have bending metal. We would need a metal working station. We would also need an, probably another assembly station. Eeps, this is extensive. This is very extensive. And there's not a lot of profit in these. So I think we're going to probably wait until we have more machines for this. Because that is not looking good. But man, 30 ducks. You know what? Let's get some let's get some ducks going on here. This is such a good good option for us. Let's make 30. Yes execute so we're just gonna have this set in motion so that we can start getting these ducks done perfect looking very good there we go yep and they're also repairing i saw one of those i think they repaired this machine didn't they yeah so the machines wear down over time and we can look at that through the repair overlay and you can see i should have uh, repaired these you can also um you can right click and choose repair or you can control left click and just set them for repair that way. And then when the operators are not busy, they will go ahead and uh, repair the machines. I, sometimes I like to keep the overlay on all the time so we can see which ones are breaking down because it's kind of important to, to get that sorted. Anyway, we gained experience. We got a payment as well. I think we got more skill points. So here we go. What do we want? Eco-friendly materials I think is not as important Room size, probably important. Machines. Um, so the issue is we don't have a lot of space for anything. I'm thinking we need space first. 
Let's get the construction tools. Yes. Now you too can build things. Oh, and we got, we got more. <gasps> we got more. Oh, blessed things. All right. So we're going to get our wood production then with those two points. I think we got some from the challenge, which is why we had so many, which is so good. So what? Oh, oh, phone. Hello. 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 Uh -huh. Greetings! I re represent Suikia, the global furniture company. We need another subcontractor and we believe you may fit the job. We require a small amount of wooden parts for one of our best-selling products, the Grand Shelf. Sure, details. So we have now unlocked a new person to give us challenges. So we have this guy here, Crazy Steve Enterprises, and then we have now Suikia. And um, yeah, we probably are going to look at seeing um, what we can do for him. Let's see, eight units for 5,000. That's probably more workable. Yeah, definitely more workable. Um, but I think, man, I wonder if we can do this with two woodworking stations. We might be able to. So in this case, um, do I want to buy another assembly station? Maybe. I think I want to buy another assembly station before we accept this. Because remember, these these things are timed for the for the other clients here. So let's get another assembly station here. Yes. And thank you very much. We already have done billboards. That's very nice of you to mention it. Put this here. Like that. Order. Get those delivered. They're still working on the ducks. Not really worried about the ducks. Thank you. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, get that done and get billboard linked. Uh, okay, shift clicking, boom. Yes, billboards are so important. I really feel like they're the best thing. What you can do is like if you have um, a, an operation to do like these, you can actually click them. Uh, well, these are these are the operations on this side. Can we look on this side? Yeah, you can click them and then choose the arrow to move them to another workstation. Uh, or split them, or you can send the entry to the back of the queue, that kind of thing. But billboards make that so simple and easy. I really feel like they're one of the best things you can get in the game. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this uh, contract because it's a lot of money. I feel like it's a good amount, um, uh, um, 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 something good with money. All right, let's click these, link the assembly workstations now that we have two, and then we're going to click... Uh, this thing. Can I click most of these? Yes, I can actually. Look at that. Link these to this billboard because those are the stations that can do all of that stuff. Um, I'm a bit worried about the bend wood because that takes time, um, but hopefully it will be okay. Oh, it didn't link that one. All right, that's fine. But yeah, there we go. And hopefully we can get this done. Uh, I'm a bit worried. 46 hours for this, but... Uh, hopefully it can be okay. We get five days to get this done. So let's accept, execute, go. And what we're going to do is choose this and we're going to move this to the top of our list so that they get that done first. And if the time gets close to where the cha the price is changing on the ducks, we can sell what we have because we have four in stock right now. Now, one of the things we might have to be careful with is the amount of uh, storage because the wood storage may be significant. I don't know. Um, but yeah, these people should be working on stuff. There we go. Looks like they tossed some of these. Sometimes if the truck drivers get a little bit, um, tilted or frustrated, they'll just drop stuff on the floor randomly. So yeah, I think that's what they did there, but looks like, yeah, we're getting all the things that we need. It's slow. It's a slow process and maybe we should hire another worker. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's hire one worker here. Recruit. There we go. Jake. Welcome, Jake. Let's have fun. Let's do things. So Jake is going to be working here and doing stuff. We have three idle workstations right now that uh, need to be attended to, looks like it. But um, yeah, I don't want to hire that many people right now because we're not always going to have three idle workstations. But look at this. Four days left and we are getting stuff done. I'm quite happy with this situation. This is fantastic. Really great. Very, very happy about this. Okay, there we go. We're getting things made. Woohoo. Stuff is going on. All right. And I think, looking at the time, 
I think it's a good time to maybe end this episode here and we'll find out in the next episode how many skill points we're going to get from this lovely contract for our new uh, business partner and see if we can get the ducks delivered on time. So thank you so very much for joining me. Um, you can pick this up on Humble, which is exciting. And um, anyway, um, take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.